The next speaker, the next presentation is about the new advancements in our photo mod and what we can what updates we can expect in future. The presentation will be made by Dmitry Kochergin, head of technical support department of Rockers Russia. Then it will be the next presentation of Viktor Nikolaevich. Okay, you have the floor. Distinguished colleagues, in fact, my presentation is has a traditional title. At each conference, we make a presentation like this about uh, the most recent updates in the Photomod system. Now we're going to speak about version 6.2, which uh, is not commercially available yet, but is going to be released, I think, within the next few weeks after the completion of the conference, of course. My name is Dmitry Kochergin. I'm the head of the technical support of the company Rockhorse. So these are the new capabilities that I thought would be worthwhile to note in the Photomod 6.2. First of all, our Photomod module ES. This is the software to process the UAV data has changed in its over overall design. Now we have a new user interface which appeals to people. We have shown it at ISPRS and GEO exhibition. We have shown it also to the best beta testers, to Natalia Moravio, for instance, who is here in this room. She almost liked everything. Indeed, I think it became more user-friendly and much nicer. Also, we have changed the algorithm of referencing the points uh, that we acquire from the UAV images. Also, it can be done for oblique image acquisition, and we have tested it for it. Now we are building 3D clouds as the output product. We build digital elevation model, dense uh, digital surface model and as a result we get not only the altitude matrix but also the cloud and it is fully painted and colored we take colors from the source images which leads to this photorealistic view the module of DSM is using global matching which was mentioned previously became much more precise and accurate. Now we work with sub-pixel accuracy and in some data you can see significant results. Additionally, we have automatic division of blocks for oblique imagery that acquired by penta cameras or triplet cameras. And the automatic images are then subdivided in different uh, strips for making more convenient for operators. Also, library, import library is much more user-friendly for both restroom and vectorized formats. The last thing, although it's not the least by any way, it's, it's a new version of stereo measure that Mr. Hipov reported on for forest forestry taxation. The next slide here, you can see the new interface of the module UAS interface. It's, it looks like wizard, but I can tell you that the arrows don't mean switch from one stage to another. I, in principle, can launch it in any sequence I want, but this is just a tip for uh, new users that first you need to do this, then this. All the functions of Photomod, the whole functionality, which is not part of this chain can be found in the main menu. We didn't cut down on the functionality of the Photomod anyway. We just believe that these steps are more important and more popular, but if you have to do something else, you just launch this process through the well-known fallout menu. This is the illustration of how the new correlator works. It hatchet base, bases it and uh, 
non-surface and object oriented and uh, it the uh, reliability of measurements is much higher now we can measure for more number of points and most importantly again reliability and accuracy for low quality images for images with high angles of external orientation for everything which is very specific for UAV this algorithm works much better just like it says here low quality of data of external orientation and so on and so forth this is what it looks like in terms of interface and I must note here right away that we're doing more and more steps toward this single push of a button solution and in the current version of Automot ES indeed by a single bush, push of a button you can do the rectification, matching of points, self-calibration of the camera basically by launching the process one time we get a rectified block those people who work with Photomod now they know that for this version you need to push at least three, four, five buttons although the possibility to press these five buttons is still preserved here you can always interfere with the process enter its at any stage and uh, see if what happened if the result is unsatisfactory this is a comparison for the number of points and these 200,000 type points are can be triangulated by an operator through the set parameters I could say that I am happy with 10,000 points 100 points or something like this which of course affects the performance of the system but you can see 1,200 images with uh, 5 cent centimeter GSD ground sampling distance but most importantly is not the quantity but quality the previous version of the correlator could lead to a much greater number of interferences from the operator who had to manually check it and uh, measure it and filter it off this is the illustration for the point clouds there is an option to di for diverse method and uh, this option can be found in the window of building the dense DSMs that's what Rural Geoinform told us about this is an option if you want to have a point cloud you have it if you don't you switch it off but it will not be just a cloud it will be a highly realistic colored realistically colored cloud also work with uh, all sorts of data and VESA space data the last bullet point is best for oblique aerial images of course it is because the cloud is also used for 3D models for oblique imagery you can better see facades and building a lasso for such data is better this is an example of such point clouds and Viktor Nikolaevich Adrov showed it today already this is Graz from Austria and uh, and this is Ultracam camera data yes Ultracam Osprey Prime 2 let it rotate although we saw this things today already all of this can be of course viewed the day after tomorrow at master classes and while it is rotating I can tell you that the day after tomorrow we'll have master classes where we can discuss all things in detail besides if anybody has questions which require more time to answer you can always approach me and uh, just like we did it many times already we can set up a computer in the hall and work individually with all the people who need to find these answers the next slide yes this is the sub pixel accuracy you can see on the left image the so-called step-by-step uh, elevation model but on the right one there are no steps because the quality became sub pixel division to strips the idea is simple or just for the penta cameras which shoots uh, ahead backwards left right and nadir you can c 
combine the forward ones into one uh, strip back into another strip and so on it can be done either based on the external orientation angles which can be found in uh, metadata or based on metadata itself depending on the type of camera actual for sd this is one situation for ultra camera different situation and so on with all you can see that previously we used the library during the import into tiff and out of tiff now for some vector formats it can also be used for geo pdf as well no, we had to, to had to import for pdf and we did it through gdal a few other things support of mm, not the sensor of comsat 3 because we supported it much earlier but pen sharpening product of comsat 3 which had a very specific format and it required change of the code also now we sup are compatible with such res recent sensors as Vinaret Sat from Vietnam, Dubai Sat 2 and Casio Sat from Kazakhstan. Of course we try to follow all the new launches, try to support all of them as soon as possible. Now we have such procedure of computation. It's not difficult on the one hand, but on the other it's quite popular. Many people were asking for it to compare two elevation models, calculate uh, distract one from another to see how the relief is changing is based on mostly on the mining activities and so on and as a elevation model we can use all sorts of things like uh, altitude el uh, matrix and at the end we have a detailed report most importantly these volumes Also now we have the possibility to build a histogram based on the uh, digital train model and uh, differences model, for instance, to subtract one DM from another. Like in the previous presentation, you could s we compare the DEM acquired by last points and uh, the digital innovation model acquired photogrammetrically. You just subtract one from another, see histogram and full statistics at the bottom and see how different they are quite uh, useful dodging now a well-known function for many systems especially when we speak about photogrammetry for those systems who build mosaics and also rectification the main idea is that if at the source images you can see artifacts like stains or shades from the cast by clouds camera tries to rectify them but still as so strange as it sounds we had many similar functions in different places but what is traditionally called dodging has been implemented only in this version and we now we have yet another option for the same thing to rectify the brightness it's used for different uh, overlapping areas stereo measure was reported in detail here you can see the example of computation of stitching and attributes for forest taxation and you see the number of plot and the uh, characteristics okay. and the functions that I didn't mention there is a possibility to upgrade this parameter for radiometric correction to into the editor's window a bris export a very useful thing we used to have it in fourth version a long time ago and then it went now we have it again and then sorting out on errors in the window of clouds and also CRTM format support if this file is in not in the internet but somewhere else filtration of s digital elevation model and radiometric properties what is meant here is that next to CMR under CMR you can uh, DM you can see the source image we're not using the model itself but it's more like a layer of 
different images. Uh, and we classify DTM and uh, delete some objects with the radiometric properties, like trees, for instance, of the dark green, for instance, or red roof houses. Of course, there is an attempt to remove the vegetation, but not geometrically, but radiometrically. Octo rectification. and uh, filling in of unseen dead gaps and uh, it's like orthophoto if we use this for digital surface model we don't have the intellectual filling of uh, dead zones blind areas so at least to plug them with something so there are no random pixels, not just black or transparent uh, blots instead of what we used to have. Then the use of georeferencing during pen sharpening, also a useful thing, especially if it is a colored image. Sometimes there are mismatching in terms of referencing. For that we use type points as an option. <coughs> now we can use also georeferencing. No, no, wait a second. If everything wo works well with georeferencing, at the same time there is mismatching size-wise, then we can do this georeferencing here. Through editing of vectors, the first version of geocalculator for Android, that's what Viktor Miklavich referred to. It's almost ready. I understand that uh, mostly it's we're do talking about the overall surface design. Also, aside from photo mod, we have many utilities or software that you can find on the web page, or seven or eight of them. And the new ones is less of a calculation, it's like DSM calculation with different resources. There will be a slide about this later on. Here you can see the geo calculator interface for Android. You can see Rackers office not far from uh, the exhibition center Metro stop. This is the program. In fact if you are planning for a flight for dense DSMs for large project. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of images. First you need to try to calculate how much time you would require and what resources. This example is saying that if you had a modern computer with 12 cores and a block would be 100 strips, uh, 15 images each, and uh, with such overlaps, GSD uh, the output would be such and such, then the overall time required for digital terrain model would be seven hours. Because what is written there in the upload of image is a delicate thing, it depends on the quality of the network, we try to calculate this also, but the most important thing is a DSM calculation. That's the most useful one. So we can say that uh, more or less with this kind of configuration of computer you can get you can spend so many hours for this. That was the last slide, I think. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. We have highly disciplined speakers. That's why we're very close to our agenda. Questions for the speaker? I see a question there. Vitaly Shavuk, North Caucasus company. Dmitry, can you please clarify? Did I understand you wrong or something? There is a new interface of Photomod which looks like Microsoft Office. Or am I mistaken? You mean the UAV section? Yes. I don't know. Maybe you 
didn't see it well. Well, the main idea was that what I mentioned, wizard-like interface. There are three panels, for instance. One is aerial triangulation, which is responsible for the input of images and rectification. Rectification of the net. And here you can see the, some tips that you need to update the files, uh, upload the files. OK, it's clear. So there is a sequence here, yes. But of course, you don't need to follow all these stages. All buttons are available at all times. That's just a tip, a reminder. I would say that this new interface looks a lot like an interface interface uh, that you used to have bef before uh, version 5. That it's not exactly wizard. Wizard had uh, three stages in it, and you could launch the third one before the first one. Theoretically, uh, this one can deliver that. Sometimes uh, there is a situation when you, you 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 need to skip something, right? But in general, it's like in uh, module four, m version four, like three, four big arrows. Vision Reisman Yuri from Vision Map. Dividing into strips. Why did you have to do it? Okay, let me put it simple. Is there a consolidated adjustment of all images? Yes. I guess the the purpose of it I is uh, the need to store uh, data. Adjustment is parallel. But stereo pair is selected in such a way so that if uh, there's been a drop of a, of a frame of an image, then it will select the adjacent one. If we mix into one, it's going to mis-select uh, the image, to tell you the truth. Of course, uh, there is still room for Im improvement. I showed you a part of the uh, uh, stereo pair. Uh, look at it left and right, but it has nothing to do with adjustment in the first place. Any other questions? Yeah. Can you use more than one camera? Can you use more than one camera? Of course, you can. There are a lot of projects, and we had and have projects with different cameras capturing from different times. But if you mean several Penta cameras, multi-angle cameras, we never did it. Uh, I guess it's possible, but I don't know what will happen with automatic uh, division into strips. Because uh, they have flown differently and uh, forward uh, overlaps, I guess, are will be wrong. I, I think it will be uh, super multi-directional image, like eight angles, eight. But we've never tried it, really. Any other questions, please? It's more of a comment. I understand uh, uh, Professor Grun meant if it's possible to use several cameras on uh, UAVs. You meant you meant drones, UAVs, right, Any Professor? Я имел в виду воздушную триангуляцию, то есть использовано более чем одной камеры, вне зависимости от конфигурации. Пять камер одновременно. 
или две или три разнотипных камер, включая самокалибрующиеся. Вот так, чтобы задавать разные параметры калибровки. That's a good question. First off, I'm afraid that the result of it will be me having to break the block. If we don't talk about self-calibration, you can do adjustments several times. But if self-calibration is at stake, the adjustment module will not be able to automatically split block identifying sections in uh, as linked to different cameras. So this will have to be done in parts. First, you, d you will need to do self-calibration, then tie them in, and then ad adjust them, believing that parameters of each camera are known. But if no self-calibration is required, ad adjustment, uh, adjustment is, is possible, and we have done it before so a lot of times. Other questions? Well, I guess that's the last one for this speaker. Do you have manual vectorization of point cloud in a new version? So you could uh, write uh, drop with primitives. No, we, we don't have that in 3D mode. You know, sometimes uh, you, you have to look different angles to, to set it out properly in, uh, in space. Maybe uh, you can upload uh, a, a point cloud in the stereo mode, but to be able to spin it... No, we don't have that. We don't have factorization for that. So this will be supplement, supplementary, auxiliary. Of course, I've ca I can upload a, a cloud in stereo. It's not cloud vectorization per se. Why would I need to use a cloud in this case? I can uh, outline a roof without a cloud but uploading is possible i mean loading is okay any other questions if there are no further questions let's thank dmitry once again